Good morning, everybody. Can you tell we're having a good time? Welcome to The Balancing Act. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Villaverde. You know, it's a new year. Mm -hmm. And what's more important than our health? Absolutely nothing. Exactly right. And today we've got two ideas when it comes to our well-being, plus a tip on how to get a better night's sleep. Love that. All right, first we're going to find out how to find a virtual doctor and getting the treatment you need without ever leaving your house. That's really interesting. And then, even for the insured, health care costs are high. And worse, unpredictable mm -hmm. until now we have ways to help it's the first online consumer health pricing source this is really great stuff great information today the balancing act starts right now Ladies, I know I'm preaching to the choir, but it's the busiest time of the year. We've got school, holidays, work. We are all juggling way too many balls during the fall and winter. Can I get a witness there? Okay, thank you. And on top of everything, oh yes, there's more. It's about to be cold and flu season. Unfortunately, getting to the doctor's office in the midst of our daily frenzy is harder than ever. But don't fear, because help is finally on the way. And Dr. Mia Finkelstein, a family doctor who treats patients through Live Health Online, is here to tell us all about it. We are so glad you're here today. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. You know, you're a board-certified family physician. You've also got kids. And what would you say are some of the challenges moms face, you know, for keeping their families healthy and happy. Yeah, yeah, I think this time of year with the colds already beginning, I know my two daughters have been sick, my son's already been sick, it's it's hitting us already. The biggest crunch is really on your time. You know, you have a busy schedule, the kids have a busy schedule, and throwing a doctor's visit there in the middle of a day may not be the most convenient thing, and the stress involved with it, in rescheduling things, shuffling it up. So you've got a brand new healthcare tool, and that really is going to help us and I'm so excited and I want you to tell us all about it. Well, it's involving telehealth and you know that is healthcare via technology whether it's through a smartphone or a computer. It's available now. Um, it has been used in teaching hospitals for years and now consumers have really driven this and there are companies that are providing the services. This is for non-emergency care um, but it's there and it's, it's getting better every day. So you can actually go to the doctor without leaving your house. How does this work? Well, the company is Live Health Online, and it was launched in 2013. Okay. And it is an app that you can download that will virtually bring that doctor to you. You can have a face-to-face, two-way interaction wow. with them, video chat in the comfort of your home. If you're too sick to get out of bed, um, at work, at your desk at work, when you're on vacation, when you're traveling, you can connect with a doctor in, in minutes. The doctors that are involved are all board certified and they're all primary care physicians. It's all very secure, HIPAA compliant. Wow, I mean, this is so much more convenient, but I'm wondering how can the doctor tell what's wrong with me or my children if we're not right there in person? How does, how does that work? When you go into a brick and mortar practice and you're going to see your, your physician, he or she will come in and they'll do some interviewing techniques. You know, they'll ask a lot of questions about the history of your illness and your family history. They'll also use their observational skills and that's what we do online. And then we can also engage the patient's help. So I'll guide them through how to maybe tap on their cheeks or feel in front of their ears and under their jaw on either side of their throat. You know, is there tenderness there? Do they feel anything that's lumpy or bumpy? Um, I can have them move closer to the, the microphone and breathe in to see how congested they are. I can also ask them to do some maneuvers to elicit a cough and hear the quality of that cough. Um, if they have a rash, I can see the rash and ask them, you know, to get a coin and to give me a little perspective on the size. So things like that. And, and they're more than happy to help assist in this sure. sort of thing. And again, for non-emergency visits, it really works very well. This is my big question, can I choose my doctor? Absolutely, and that's what's really wonderful. You can look at all the physicians who are available and through that you can see where they trained, how long they've been in practice, what their experience is, and what their interests are. And then you get to you know, click on the button and have a face-to-face -face conversation with them. So it, it really is very user-friendly, easy to navigate, so patients are receiving it very well. Downloading the live app is free. But is, is it covered by insurance? Life Health Online is the only telehealth company that is covered by a major insurance carrier. It is offered as one of its standard benefits. Um, but I always recommend that you ask your employer you know, and your insurer 
is it a covered benefit? If it isn't, it's a $49 visit, which, you know, that's not much more than a copay. And here you are going to see a board certified physician. And by, by no means do we want to replace your primary care physician. We all know you need that. We want you to have that. But it's intended to augment your health care. And I understand it's really catching on quickly. You must be so thrilled about that. When we um, do surveys to see patient satisfaction, about 80% of people do comment on the fact that it has saved them at least two hours of their time. And then about 90% of those who have been surveyed have been very happy with um, the treatment and the um, diagnoses that they, they've been given. And you know, with the majority of states offering this service now, it really will continue to take off, we hope. And with cold and flu season right around the corner, this is music to our ears, Dr. Mia. I want to thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Great information. Thanks for having me. And now to get signed up for Live Health Online, and I know you just want to do that, and you just want to head on over to our website, thebalancingact.com, to get started. And don't forget to join us on Facebook and Twitter as well. things in life are more satisfying than shopping around and getting a great deal. We compare prices for cars and clothes and just about everything. So why not for health care services? That's what Patty Everett asked herself after her husband suffered a catastrophic injury while they were between health care plans. And the result of that life-changing experience is a brand new way to do health care. Patty Everett, CEO of Health Ponds, I just want to thank you for joining us today. I'm so glad you're here to share your story. Thank you so much for having me here. I really appreciate it. You know, and it. we have so much to get to, but really, I, I have to start with what happened to your husband. Well, he fell two stories and he broke his neck. And when I took him to the hospital, because we didn't have an insurance policy in force, they told me I needed to take him home because it wasn't life-threatening. He could breathe. However, if one of the children jumped up and hugged him, he could be a quadriplegic. So I had to go to the bank and drain $50,000 out to get him in the hospital and get the surgery done. So we exhausted all of our savings and, and my inheritance and all the money he had from his business to get him taken care of. Wow, that, that's, a, and how much in total did you spend? On we spent a little over half a million in the first six months. That is just devastating. It is, it is devastating. And, and, and you, you came to some important realizations then about the health care system and the way it's working. Tell me about that. I did. I learned that there was nowhere to get a cash price. If you're paying cash, why can't you have the same price as an insurance company? There was no option to compare prices between different surgeons or hospitals. And so we were stuck. And that got me to thinking, why can't we get a discount? Why can't we shop if we're paying cash? Why shouldn't we have the best price? So am I right in assuming that our health care providers aren't mandated to post the price of their services? Well, that's absolutely correct, Julie, until the Affordable Care Act changed that. Now they are required to post the prices and somewhere reasonably for people to be able to see them. But there's no format for it. There's no instructions. There were no guidelines given with that. So what we did is we looked at the Affordable Care Act and said, how can we bring pricing transparency to the market? And how can we get doctors to help us get a price that's lower? So that's where Health Ponds comes in. Tell us exactly what Health Ponds is. Health Ponds is the very first portal for healthcare shopping. You get to choose by city, state, zip, by doctor, by specialty or symptom if you don't know where to go. You can go on and be a consumer of healthcare, get real-time pricing. You, you see the prices that are available today. So if you need something done, you need an MRI, you need to see a primary care doctor, an orthopedic, a neurosurgeon, you can see the prices for their services. It sounds like a true breakthrough for consumers. So if you want to start saving on your health care, stick with us because Patty's going to tell us exactly how Health Ponds works right after the break. Welcome back to The Balancing Act. Before the break, my guest Patty Everett was sharing her personal story about the staggering cost of health care and about a possible solution called Health Ponds. All right, Patty, what exactly is Health Ponds? You told us, but how does it work? That's what I want to know. Health Ponds works by going to our website and finding the right doctor and the right price. You simply input whatever you need to know, whether it's by symptoms, specialty, city, state, or zip. Now, some people think it's only for people without insurance, but it's not so. 
it's for people with insurance as well. You know, deductibles are getting higher now, and we know that statistically, $2,500 deductible, only 11% of the people with that will ever reach it. Hmm. And then if it gets higher, like the new plans, $5,000 deductibles, only 4%. So that means 96% of those people are self-insured. So if you had a choice and you could pay $1,200 or $600 for a service, which would you choose? I'm going with six. Okay, <laughs> well then you come to Health Bonds. <laughs> Perfect. I honestly think a lot of people are still confused about terms like co-payment, co-insurance. Could you refresh people's you know, memories about what those terms really mean? The most important thing to remember is your co-payment is that amount of money that you give the doctor when you check in. Sometimes they ask you for the $25, $35, $55 dollar co-payment. The deductible is the amount that you have to pay before your insurance company starts paying. This is where everyone gets confused. Co-insurance. It is different than co-deductible. Your co-insurance is that amount that you pay after the bill has been submitted and they determine how much is owed. Your policy will dictate how much you pay of that bill. 20%, 30%, 40%. And you pay that after you've paid all of your deductible. So I find it really interesting that there are millions of insured people who are still basically paying for everything out of pocket. I want you to give us an example of how health funds prices can help those people and others. Well, for example, if you need an MRI, very often you will get a bill for around $7,000. I had one in January and it was $7,226. Then I got a bill, my co-insurance, for $1,200. Now, if I had gone to health ponds, I would have paid $695. What other options can consumers choose on health ponds besides price? They can choose to find a doctor by his specialty. They can look at his education. And most important, the quality of his care. So we evaluate a doctor's based on what his patients say, not some random opinion on the internet, mm -hmm. but what his patients say about him. We look at his education. Does he have a medical degree from Harvard or is it from a foreign country? What hospitals are they associated with? So you can learn much about your doctor before you go see him. And what about emergency care? Emergency care is not included in health bonds, but we do have urgent care facilities. So they can find those for the things that are non-life-threatening. Now, what we do have are hospitals that are starting to get on board with us and post their pricing. And because of that, we decided to bring something to the consumers that we know they need. Those high deductibles, even if you do get a good price, sometimes you can't afford it. So we have a patient financing program available to all our hospitals in our network and all the providers associated with them. And it's 0% financing, no interest, up to 72 months. That can help a lot of people, really. And there's another convenient feature on Health Funds that will make a patient's digital medical records available. Tell us about that. Absolutely. You can go to Health Ponds and you can store your medical records there and your medical history. And when you're traveling, if you're skiing in Colorado, rock climbing in Arizona, <laughs> or jet skiing around the world, you can go online and see all of your medical information and share it with any provider you choose. Where can people find out more about Health Ponds? Come to our website, healthponds.net. So it's one-stop healthcare. Sounds like an idea whose time has come. Patty, such great information. I wanna really thank you for being in the studio with us. Thank you so much and for having me And thanks for sharing here. your story and your husband's story. I appreciate it, thank you. All right, I'm sure you can't wait to start saving on your healthcare, so head over to thebalancingact.com to get started. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well. Just in time for the new year, our resident sleep expert, Dr. Heath Durrance, is here with our sleep tip of the day. Thanks, Olga. Joining a gym, working out, and losing weight are still one of the most popular New Year's resolutions out there. And guess what? As far as sleep goes, I couldn't be more on board with that resolution. My sleep tip of the day is try to exercise. Why? It's been widely proven that exercise improves the quality of sleep. And of course, quality sleep supports a healthier you. Studies also show that exercise benefits sleep no matter what age you are. There's also strong evidence that regular exercise improves not only the quality of your sleep, but also the duration of your sleep. But remember, Olga, try not to exercise too late at night because you need to give your body and your metabolism enough time to cool down before falling asleep. 
Great information. Thank you, doctor, so much. And for more great information on healthy sleep, log on to a good day starts at night.com. In the meantime, sweet, sweet dreams. dreams. good information when it comes to yes. our health today. Be sure to check out our website, thebalancingact.com as well. Lots there for you to see. And don't forget about Facebook and Twitter. Look us up. We'll see you soon. And remember, find your balance, everybody. So long.